In this video, we will create a GUI application where we can create tables in Microsoft SQL Server with Python. There are entry, label, and button objects in the window we created using Python Custom Kinter. I enter the table and column names to create a table. I can select column types using radio button objects. When I click the Create button, a table is created in Microsoft SQL Server. I can view the table in SQL Server. We will remake the project with you. To support us, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's start. I need the custom Kinter library to design a GUI window. I can transfer the custom Kinter library with this code. I will use the PODBC library to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. I can transfer PODBC library with this code. I import custom Kinter, PODBC, and Kinter libraries. I will create a window. I set the window view mode to system. I set the window default color to blue. I create a variable for the window. I adjust the window size with the geometry function. I am adjusting the window title. I use the main loop function to prevent the window from closing suddenly. I created an empty window. Now I will add objects to the window step by step. First, I will create an entry object for the table name. I send the window name, text and width values to the entry function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I added the entry object for table name to the desktop window. Now I will create entry objects for the column names. I need three entry objects. I can easily create other entry objects using the copy and paste method. I am making the necessary arrangements. I created the entry object for the first column name. I create the entry object for the second column. I added the entry object to the desktop window. I add the last entry object. The entry object for the third column name has been added to the desktop window. Now I will create a button object. I send the window name, text and task function values to the button function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I can create the task function with pass for now. I added the button object to the desktop window. I will create variables for radio button objects. There is a function for this in the Tkinta library. I will create three different variables for three columns. I set the variable to string. First, I will create the radio button objects for the first column. There will be two radio button objects. The first will represent varchar and the second will represent integer data type. I will send the window name, text, variable and value values to the radio button function.
I add the object to the window with place. I added the radio button object for varchar to the desktop window. I add the radio button object for integer to the window. I am making the necessary arrangements. The variable values of the integer and varchar radio button objects I created for the first column must be the same. I also added two radio button objects for the first column. Now we will make these objects for the second and third column as well. I create objects by copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added radio button objects for the second column. Let's do the same for the third column. I create objects by copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. For the third column, I added the radio button objects to the desktop window. Finally, I will add a label object to the desktop window that indicates whether the table has been created or not. I send the window name and text values to the label function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I added all the objects to the desktop window. Now I will edit the button task function. When you press the button, it will connect to SQL Server. It will run the specified create table command. I will do all this using the try exception feature to catch errors. I am creating a variable. I am sending SQL Server as driver to the connect function. You can find the server value this way. I set the database name to turtle code. I will use Windows authentication. Therefore, I can set trusted connection to yes. I set the auto commit property to true. I will create an SQL. I can create a table with create table. I can access the values entered by the user into entry objects with get. I need the first radio button variable for the first column type. I organize all the columns this way. I can run the SQL command I prepared using the execute function. If there is no error, I set the label object to table created. If there is an error, I show the error on the console screen with the print command. I change the text of the label object and there is an error.
I will test the application soon. I am connecting to SQL Server. We use Turtle Code as the database name. Turtle Code database is not currently available in SQL Server. We can create a database using the GUI application we created in the previous lesson. I will create the GUI application using these codes. If you haven't watched it, you can take a look at the previous lesson. I enter the database name in the entry object. I click on the Create and Connect buttons respectively. We can see the Turtle Code database by clicking the Refresh button. There is no table in the database. Now I will test the application we just created. I enter the table name. I enter the column names. I am setting the column types. I click the button. I think there is a syntax error. I forgot the parenthesis. I will edit the SQL text and run it again. First, I check whether any table exists in SQL Server. There are no tables. I enter the table name. I enter the column names. I am setting the column types. I click the button. The table has been created. We can see the table in SQL Server. Columns were created with the specified names and types. In the next video, we will make an application where we can insert into the table we created. To support us, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.